Dating may seem impossible at times, especially if you're not used to putting yourself out there. It's scary when you have to worry about putting your heart on the line. Not only that, but it's a lot of hard work and time investment. You've discovered that even though you're actively dating, you're still on the search for a meaningful connection with someone. Here are five ways to find true love if you're an introvert and hate dating. 1. Go to events and places that reflect your favorite hobbies and interests. Forget hitting the bar or club to meet people if that's not where you feel like you can be your natural self. Meeting new people that you can potentially get to know over time requires a certain sense of self-confidence. By going to events and places that harbor your hobbies and interests, it'll be easier for you to strike up conversations based on similarities, alleviating some of the stress introverts face when it comes to small talk. 2. Be prepared to go through trial and error. Love isn't a fairy tale, and while you may hate the superficial aspects of dating, you certainly can't go through it without getting your heart broken a few times or breaking someone else's. There's always a lesson to be learned in the world of dating. For instance, you might be used to internalizing your thoughts and feelings as an introvert, but while dating, you'll learn to get better at communicating with your partner. And even though that might be difficult at times, it isn't impossible. 3. Have honest conversations. Don't be afraid to show who you are right from the beginning. As an introvert, you value authenticity and depth anyway. If you want to skip out on trying to impress others, be honest. Have the difficult conversations. Ask them if they know where the both of you are headed. See if the two of you actually have chemistry, but also communicate that you're willing to make things work. If you're serious about dating, you shouldn't have to worry about waiting for a certain amount of time to pass before responding back to text messages or coming off as desperate or clingy. To like someone is to still choose to be with them even on their worst days. 4. Only make time for people you're really interested in. Don't date someone because they seem impressive on paper or if they're someone your parents and friends will approve of. Ask yourself what you really want in a partner and only make time to meet up with people who you truly believe you are compatible with. At the end of the day, you're the one dating that person, not anyone else. As an introvert, you most likely don't like creating conflict and rejecting those you don't think you can have a relationship with, it'll help you be one step closer to finding the right match. Additionally, don't settle just because you're afraid to be alone. 5. Keep an open mind. This includes dating extroverts who operate in a different way. Who's to say dating someone who's your opposite can't work out? The key word is compromise. As long as you and your partner respect each other's boundaries, there's no real reason as to why things can't work out, even if misunderstandings may arise from time to time. That's normal in any relationship. Are you an introvert? What helps you in the realm of dating? Feel free to share in the comments below. Happy days, Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days, Thursday, Friday, happy days, Saturday, the Sabbath day, there's so much you can't do, these are the Sabbath hours, the Sabbath day. Satan wants them to be sad Oh, Sabbath day Goodbye, gray sky, hello, blue The Sabbath day is made for you Day of rest, fellowship too So much joy for you to choose The Sabbath days are yours and mine Oh, happy day Sabbath days are yours and mine. Oh, happy day. The Sabbath days are yours and mine. Sabbath days are yours and mine. Happy days.